Hello, I'm Todd Hodnett. I own Accuracy First and this is military sniper training. So we have a military version or a side of the business and we also have a civilian side of the business. As you can see, we have military here today and nearly every day here on the Mendota Ranch, we've got military here doing training. So today is Hilo Op Day as well. So Jason's out flying, running the guys through the 50 mile gun run of which you can do if you go to rotorrecoil.com, you'll see his side of the business and running the 50 mile gun run, same exact training we do here with the military. So this is what we do every day here on the Mendota Ranch, shooting long range and running helo ops. The reason we came here on the Mendota Ranch to do training is the 17 mile hour average wind day. So, you know, we say 17, but it's not usually 17, it's 17 gusting to 32. So this is something that, you know, when, when I started looking for a training facility for the military, wind is our number one nemesis. We have to have wind. So, you know, once we look at other training places, we have a high angle place. And a lot of times I beg guys, you know, please come here first because the high angle, we never miss for high angle. So normally it's always wind. We go to Switzerland, we go to New Zealand, we go to our other facility up in Utah that gives us great high angle training. However, nobody misses for high angle. Everybody misses for wind every day. So this is the reason we came to the Mendota Ranch to do training is access to not only the terrain features as you can see we have a large enough place here on the Mendota Ranch that we can shoot 360 degrees uh, on several of the courses and we probably have well over 10 courses here on the ranch as well as the uh, helicopter rotor recoil side of it where we have the 50 mile gun run uh, the, the ranch one of the huge benefits is not only the 360 and the terrain features that we have here but mainly the wind so the wind is the number one reason that we actually utilize the Mendota Ranch and why the militaries from all over the world come here.